Yo, what's good, Brick Talk fam? It's your boy Fetty Floyd with my first edition of Brick by Brick. James is usually doing it, uh, but now we were able to set up our stuff. I'm overseas; he's in the states. We were I was able to get the equipment and start recording these. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm happy to talk to y'all. It's been a minute. Um, 2022 was a long year. Today we're going to talk about reflection. Usually around this time, I'm just reflecting. It's the end of the month. We're going into New Year. I try to think back of how I got to where I am right now. And I would say, for the most part, 2022 was a, was a fun year. Like I had a lot of fun. But with that being said, behind the scenes, emotionally, I avoided so much within by just having fun. Um, so it really crashed on me towards the end of the year where I was like having fun, trying to just find good vibes and, you know, chilling with my teammates, just finding people who who are on the same wave of just enjoying life because as a basketball player, we put a lot into um, – just making a living, like our bodies, um, ment mentally, it takes a lot. And just being overseas, sometimes, I was just telling my friends this the other day, like the way they treat you over here as a foreigner, um, it gets to your head sometimes. It, it makes it, it, make it seem like, like they don't really care about your well-being. So you really take um, accountability for that. Whichever way, whichever way you do, some people – do it in a positive way, and some people didn't do it in a negative way. For me, I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like I didn't do it in a such positive way where I was, you know, going out um, in the clubs and whatever like that. Um, but and people say, you know, you're, like, running from your problems. But for me, it was like, yo, I'm going to enjoy this life because I don't really know the next time I'll get paid or I don't know the next time – like something bad could happen. They could, I could, they could just ship me home. So I'm going to just enjoy this time. Um, so, yeah, but I think, like I said, towards the end of the year, it started crashing down. I get hurt. Um, I'm going through a lot and different relationships, family, romantic, um, just a lot of um, just emotions. And I just numb myself. Like, I numb myself. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to follow the vibe, follow the vibe. And then to a, to a point where I was like, who am I? Like, it's funny how things happen so gradually. Like, you make certain decisions and those decisions become so big. And in a way, certain things was controlling my life that I don't want to control my life. Like, um... Basketball started controlling my life. Um, how people viewed me started controlling my life. And that's just not who I am. And I think that was really, that when I really sat down and thought about it, I was like, yo, I feel like I've lost myself in this having fun and enjoying life because I'm more of a intentional, like, what's next? Like, trying to make a mark on my life, making sure my life means something, uh, have value for something. And I just really turn to the more loose and fun vibe, which is cool. You got to have balance, but I really put all my eggs in one basket and allowed that type of lifestyle to control me. Um, and it took time for me to like look back, look at it and be vulnerable. I'm like, is this, how is this affecting my other areas in life? It started affecting basketball. It started affecting relationships. So, and that's really what pushed me to go to therapy. Where I was like, all right, let me sit down and really try to do internal work. And even that is still tough because <laughs> at times my therapist be telling me about myself and the next week I'm trying to duck her because I'm like, I'm not really trying to talk. And at this point, I just have to accept where I am now and not where I feel like I should be. Um, so it's just, you know, day by day. But going into the new year, you got a couple, like a week or two, Left in the new year, and I'm just ready to start from scratch. Like, yes, I made my my mistakes, whatever, like that, in 2022 in terms of mentally focusing on other things outside of 
um, my purpose and stuff like that. I just have to get back to that. And going into New Year is a perfect time for me to do that. Um, I sur- I feel like I survived 2022. I'm happy. Like you know, I'm just I'm just happy to be alive. I'm happy to be healthy. Um, and I just want to go forward and be different next year because the worst thing for me is being the same way. And maybe you go through these you go through these trials and errors. You lose your way sometimes. And I can honestly say I lost my way. Um, and I just want to be better. I want to be better for myself. I got a lot. I got away with a lot of stuff in 2022. And God, hey, I'm looking for my. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm bracing it now. I think me being hurt is kind of part of the karma. He wanted to sit me down and make me realize like basketball isn't the end all be all. Um, out here spending money in the clubs is not the end all be all. You're not gonna find what you're really searching for, and that can be um, anything. And that's a good segue into what I would talk about next on another big, 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 big is the mind versus the heart. Because a lot of times we get stuck up here and forget about what's in here. But that's it for today, y'all. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for supporting my journey. And I'm glad I'm helping people also be be able to be vulnerable with themselves. Um, that's what uh, Brick Talk's all about. That's what we're trying to do, just to spread light into mental health, mental health and you know, finding ourselves and just becoming whole. But all right, y'all. Peace. All season. All men are created equal. Some just work harder during the off season. Let's work.